What's up everybody? Welcome to another episode of the greatest vlog in the world. My name is Jeff, your favorite tour guide in Madeira. And today's Sunday, right? It is once again our day off and we're taking you guys out for a summer adventure. We got the Hit The Road team together and uh, we're gonna have some breakfast over here at uh, Abrigo do Poiso, which you may know of. Highly recommended by us. And then we're gonna go on a little bit of a mission. Should be fun. So without any further ado, Kick it off. She needs coffee. <laughs> what is it, baby? Café, ponche, moira? Moira. Moira. Quatro picas, quatro ponches e, e uma tosta mista. Sem gel. We're going to have some food. We're up here in Abrigo do Poiso, a uh, local hotspot. Uh, on the way to Pico do Arriero, great place to stop for something to eat uh, or a poncha, you know, if you're not driving or if it's not too early, like 11 o'clock or something. Uh, what time is day, it? Team day, team day. Team day. Oh. Yeah, yeah, here we go, here we go. Oh, I can work with the poncha. <laughs> this is how I like the, the bolo do caco toasted sandwiches. Full of cheese, full of butter. Mm. That's good? All right, awesome. So let's get some shots. We're uh, recreating a shot that we got from Luis at this point with one of our other cars. And uh, of course, this is our new baby and it's all finished now, except for a few little things, <laughs> right? As you guys know about, but uh, yeah. So this is the time to present to you guys for the first time on officially on YouTube, Come the Camel Jeep. Well, here it is. Oh, our first vehicle in our brand new colors. So without giving away too much, this is the look that we're going for. And I wanted this car to become an example. I wanted people to be proud to be in this car, to take photos with the car, both inside and out. And I'm so happy with how this came out. Uh, wasn't cheap, uh, but it's looking really, really beautiful. And um, yeah, this is the, the first Land Rover done. I didn't want to make a big deal out of this whole thing because you know, there's other guys out there that have like 50 cars and they're like, oh, well done, Jeff, you got one good car. Uh, it's not the case. All of our cars are in good running order. Uh, all the important stuff works, just as most of you already know. But with this car, we really went all out and we stripped it from bottom to top and we fixed everything to try and make it an example and now our other cars are going to follow suit. So Hugo, this one, this baby's all yours. So and today I'm driving because I'm driving the team around and we're going to go for a swim. But uh, from tomorrow onwards, this car will be in Hugo's hands and uh, all of our guests at Hit The Road Tour is the best tour company in the world are going to be able to experience Madeira um, through the eyes of this fine vehicle. So uh, I think that's uh, enough. Hey, we've, we've done enough filming and shooting and all that kind of stuff. Uh, I think Hugo is getting bored and Elisa as well. So it's time to get out of here. Let's go and get some, uh, some sun and some water. And then we're going to 
take you for food as well. So you can see we've got a new place to show you guys. So stick around and don't forget to like and subscribe and to share with all of your friends uh, because we are going to show you guys lots of Madeira real soon. So let's go, let's pack up and let's get out of here. Yeah? Yeah? Good. I would love to have a chat with this guy over here. Look at this place. So there's these windmills. See, there's one over there. There's these other two up at the top here. And this guy's, it looks like he's using all of it. Like this is all washing machine bins. Tambours, yeah. Tambours, yeah. Well, how do you call that? The washing machine uh, disc tube yeah. thing. I'm just super, super curious to know exactly what this guy's plan is and what his mission is. Like, just look at how many of these things he's got here. Anyway, we're in Fayal already. Huge views from the car. We're on the way to the beach where we're gonna meet up with Fernando. To the beach, let's go. Beautiful flowers. You can touch them. Yeah. You can touch them straight from the car, you know? You don't even need to get out. The window, the window. The window. Check the dog. It's always the same. Hey. doggy. There he goes, yeah. Take your time. Very small dog. Can you see him? That's Manuel, yeah. Hey. Manuel. Is this a two way road? I don't think so. We never know, yeah, but I don't think so. Actually, there's a sign here. What does the sign say? No entry, yeah, one-way road. For once. We've got a, the remote even. <laughs> anyway, time to get changed and get some, uh, get some sun, catch some water. Fernando's arrived. Yeah, let's have some fun in the water. Definitely feels like summer in Madeira right now. Uh, not only here in Fayal, uh, but everywhere on the island. So the beaches are full, uh, especially on the weekends. On the weekends, all the locals are going out. Um, but during the week, you will find these kinds of places a little bit more quiet. And the water was really, really nice, super clean uh, on the north side. So uh, very, very cool. You guys have to get into the water if you're here right now or uh, in the next uh, couple of months because the water will stay warm all the way through until probably until October, November. Uh, it'll still be nice and warm, especially on the south coast. So yeah, great little swim spots. It's nice to have people around. Now we're gonna go for lunch 
and uh, we're going to meet up with an old friend. So uh, I'm quite excited. I'm actually very excited for lunch. So without any further delay, let's move on to Kelao de Saint Georges. Not bad, huh? Check it out. This this is what a kelao is. It's this little rock. This is what we call a kelao. So our beaches are kelao beaches, pebble beaches, and this is the beaches of uh, Saint George, kelao uh, Saint George, nah, hey, isn't it? This is my friend Elsa. Hi. Say hello, Elsa. There you go. Elsa and George. Where's where is George? George is over there getting our table ready. Our good friends that hit the road for a very long time. So uh, we're here to support their new project. We're gonna try the menu. I'm excited to see the menu. Wow. Hey? Yes. yes, we're excited. We're excited to see the menu. So let's let's see some food, right? You ready? Hey? Good prices. Bro. Good prices? Lapis yeah, 750 is a good price. Lapis grillada huh? in Portuguese. Lapis grillada. Camarão, shrimp at 10 is just a good price. If we like, if we like, we come here. Só lhe falta a barba para fazer de Pai Natal. O quê? É Tu não imaginas, tu não imaginas o que diz. Ho, ho, ho! André, limpets. Huh? Limpets for us. Limpets for us. I think I'm gonna go. I think I'm gonna do the. There's a fish here. It says here, peixe do dia assado no calhau com arroz de lapas. Fish cooked on the calhau. Maybe we need to go to calhau to do a video. To get to get the, to get the, the to build the oven. Yeah, we can go there. <laughs> we're gonna put the stones. Huh? Yeah, we're gonna fry the fish on the stones. And then it's coming the waves. Okay. Okay, we need to put the lemon in the limpets. This is very important and we need to do very quickly. And when you are eating, you need to eat very hot. Okay? Let's go eat. Caught fresh off the coast of Madeira. Always mm. good with a good wine. It's very nice. Mm. You can tell it's fr it's fresh. They are very very fresh. good. We don't often we don't often see clams on the menu in Madeira. Not too often. So I'm interested to try it. Very good. After the, the train, always I eat bread with sauce. bread with molo. <laughs> <laughs> Good size portion. Local food, we got the pargo in, in, in English, it's pargo. We, we, we changed for pargo. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, we'll find out what pargo is and, and Andrea will just put it in the bottom there. But anyway, um, there's, it's on the stone, it's on the kelao. I think uh, this is more, I'm gonna massacre the plates, but I think it's more for uh, presentation. We're not gonna try and eat this, but uh, looks great. Wow, the burger looks good. The tuna looks good. Pasta looks good. Poor guy's really busy. It's really busy today. There's a lot of people here, almost all locals, um, which is cool because that shows support. And uh, I'm very happy. Okay, Five stars, man. Looks nice. 
Thank you. Bob Teets. It's been a while since I've seen this place with so much life, right? This place was a little bit abandoned for a while and I'm quite sure that the team behind the new restaurant uh, at Calau de Saint Georges is going to put this place on the map, at least on the Santana map. So if you guys are out here in Santana and you want to try some real food from real locals, then you want to come out here and check this place out. We tried it, it's good, all right, I'm happy. I'm probably gonna do a couple of stops here in the future, so definitely a good place to check out. And on that bombshell, uh, that's where we're ending, <laughs> right? I don't know what else to tell you guys. It's summertime, there's lots of great summer vlogs coming, I promise, all right? We've already got some big news to share with you, uh, but that's still gonna take some time we've been really 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 busy all right so I'm sorry for anyone who's waiting on me or anything like that I promise to get back to all of you real soon but we have indeed been very very busy and I've been needing a break so uh, I don't know what we're gonna be filming next week Andre but I'm sure we'll uh, find something uh, and yeah stick around like and subscribe I will see you guys in the next video and make sure to check out Calon Saint George. You can swim around here as well. Uh, it's busy now on the weekend, but on the week, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be nice and quiet. A little bit of a hidden gem. See you guys. Let's hit the road.